In this video, we're going to see an example of MLE with gamma distribution k equals 2. So we have the same setup. We have n samples. Each of, uh, each of, e each of them are, are drawn from a gamma distribution with k equals 2 and theta. So k is a shape parameter of gamma function, gam gamma distribution. Then uh, beta is a scale parameter, and also we'll have, uh, IIID assumption that it's independently drawn and then identically uh, distributed. So now let's define the row of x sub i given theta. So since uh, this probability function, uh, density function follows the gamma distribution, will the k equals two? A gamma function, gamma distribution uh, PDF, gamma distribution follows. something like this and then um, gamma function gamma of two gamma function of two is one so we can simplify this to a theta one over theta six squared times x sub i times ex exponent of negative x sub i over theta Now we can define a likelihood function of theta given d. This is a product of rho of x sub i given theta. And we also can define the low likelihood of theta given d. which is a sum of natural log of rho of x sub i given theta. So now this becomes log of 1 over theta squared times x sub i times exponent of negative x sub i over theta. Okay. And we can simplify this to sum of uh, negative 2 log of theta plus log of x sub i minus x sub i over theta. Now we should uh, take the gradient of this log likelihood and set it to 0. Then this becomes negative two over theta and this is not dependent uh, to the theta so this will disappear and, and um, then plus I over theta squared. So well, this is sum of one from n thing equals zero. Now this becomes 
So this first term is not independent of this uh, i. So this becomes times n plus one over there squared the sum of x sub i one over i equals one over 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 i equals one to n equals zero. So now we can multiply a uh, data square on the both sides and becomes negative two data n plus sum of x sub i zero. Finally, maximum likelihood estimate of theta is 1 over 2n times sum of x sub i, i equals 1 to n. So this is uh, the same as a half of the sample mean. So again, this is pretty intuitive result.